Welcome in, guys. We got Windbreaker Episode 2 here in front of us. Episode 1 was pretty solid. Uh, you know, slightly generic, but hey, nothing wrong with that. It's all set up. I'm excited to see more of our main character here now that he's going to be attending school. I know that sounds pretty lame, right? Attending school. I can't wait for that. But hey, this is a fighting school. So I want to see what they're all about. And I want to see who the top dog of the school actually is. Unless it's the guy from last episode, which in that case, we already met him. But yeah, let's get right to it. Hey, he's back at the cafe. Who is this? Oh, it's the old man. Or old lady. <laughs> yeah. He's living up to the school traditions. He's protecting this uh this little area. He's getting along with the people. Oh my god! Egg sandwich? That looks good! <laughs> Yo, that looks solid, man. Is he showing up to school early? Yeah, he's pumped up, dude. He's ready. He's, he's ready for Furin Academy. Oh, that's funny. There's a lot of interesting guys there. That's what I'm looking forward to, man. I want to see some straight monsters, bro. Alright. I spoke too soon. His design's pretty cool. I kind of wonder if he's a good fighter, though. I mean, he has to be, right? He's a part of the academy. Huh. That hair, those eyes. What about them? Stressed out. You must be <laughs> must be rough. Yeah, white hair does equal stress. Oh, is that the leader right there with white hair? Wait a minute. Go back. Okay, this this is what I want to see. Wait a minute. What, what do we have here? We got a girl in a skirt. Super tall. Guy with white hair in a crazy trench coat. And then what seems to be a magician to the left of him. I don't know what's going on here. Okay. I'm pretty excited. Yeah, yeah. I'm all, I'm all about uh, seeing like the top dogs at the school. Yeah. I want to see some good fighters, man. Yeah. They look decent. What a dork. <laughs> a hero of justice should be cooler than that. Yeah, he did look like his appearance was uh, trying too hard. Guys like that who are all about style always checking on fights. To be fair, that's... That's what I thought too, but knowing that he goes to Furin Academy, I doubt he's like that. I, I guarantee he's going to be a good fighter. Oh. Nide, come on, dude. No way. I was hyping you up on the side, man. Oh, 
Okay. No, no, no. He he's just playing around. He he's playing around. He's he's joking. Yeah, he he's he's just winding up. Nope, nope, nope. He's he's hiding his talents. Just wait for it. Those who cause pain, who bring destruction, who hold evil in their heart, <laughs> will be purged by Bofudin without exception. What is that, like the school motto? Oh, hitting him with the hammer. No! Wait, what? Sakura really saves him? So does Nibiri not know how to fight then? The girl kind of told us, don't judge a book by its cover, but I thought she actually meant, like, you know, he's a fighter. I, I was like, Sakura, I was like, oh, so he could fight then. Okay. But no, I, I guess it was just an appearance thing. You can't take them on on your own. No, yeah. They, okay, the guy's the guy's weak. Okay. All right, all right. I I definitely misjudged them. I made the wrong call. No, he, he's a first year. Come on, no, no. You have time. You can grow. Work out, man. You got this. Oh, are they going to team up? You're not lame. <laughs> yeah, it's not lame. He's not lame. Okay, he's, he's, a, he's a little bit lame. But I like him. I like him. This is the school? Wait, what? <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's preparing for a fight. All right, let's see the classroom. Yep, look at that. Nobody's learning. No teacher, no nothing. Just graffiti, kids doing pull-ups and sitting on desks. Yeah, sounds about right. Why does that guy have an eye patch? Who, who, who gave a high schooler piercings? What is going on here? Not bad, I guess. Yeah, bunch of monsters and gang members. Yeah. Leonardo DiCaprio. Suo-san, okay. That's his real name. He's not actually Leonardo DiCaprio. Gotcha. This eye patch is away an ancient Chinese spirit in my right eye. That's a that's a really funny reference. Okay. Yeah, this guy this guy has humor. He's got good taste in anime. Oh, are they going to fight? This isn't good. 
Oh? Maybe they're just gonna high five. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yay! Look at that. Here's a good rep already. Yeah. Day one. Actually, negative day one. And he's already protecting the town. Yeah. Yeah, he's like a hero. Oh, is that the teacher? No, it's a student. Soccer, don't fight him. <laughs> the most dangerous guy in our school. Okay. No, there's no way. There's no way. He He's not a top dog. Okay, he's a mad dog, but is is he a top dog though? Let's be real. There's no way they're gonna introduce like the the main guy of school like this, right? And he's still a first year. This is a first year classroom. Okay, you know what? I was afraid, man. I I, I was actually afraid that come this episode, the anime would be very off putting, because episode one was you know kind of hit or miss for me. Like I liked it. I didn't like some aspects of it. So I was pretty excited to see where episode two would take us, especially now that we're getting more of the school life in here. And you know what? It's looking pretty dang solid. I think some of the characters have really cool designs. Uh, I'm interested to see what the rest of school is like. Like, I, I still don't know how the fights are going to work. So the people we fought from last episode actually got a name. I think they call them like the, the Spow Tips or something. The, the Spow Tip Gang. So maybe this is going to be like a gang on gang violence kind of thing, which wouldn't be bad. I think that'd be pretty nice, but that would mean that everybody in our school is going to be an ally. So I'm, I'm not too sure how that works. Is there going to be infighting in this school? Are there actual rankings for who's the top dog? So yeah, overall, I am looking forward to the next episode. Uh, this anime has done a pretty good job at hooking me. I was actually, like I said, I was afraid they would lose me here, but nope, I'm going to stick with it. But yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next episode of Windbreaker next week. Sai, signing out.